we all can better understand all the services that you provide to this community. Right. Well, the, the Douglas Exchange Club is a part of the National Exchange Club. That's a service organization. Mm -hmm. uh, the National Exchange Club was formed in 1911 in Michigan. The Douglas chapter was formed in the late 60s out of the Waycross Exchange Club. Okay. And in our community in Coffee County and surrounding areas, we support a number of uh, uh, worthwhile uh, things for, for kids mostly. But we support the Hope Center, the Children's Advocacy Center, the FCCLA, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, uh, we do a student of the month for seniors in high school from all of the high schools, uh, from Coffee High School, CCA, and Atkinson County. Uh, we support the Mary Hayes Center, the American Legions, Boys State. We do a lot for uh, other uh, worthwhile causes, anything to do with the youth in our community. We really try to support it uh, all that we can. Well, that's good, and we appreciate that. And it's good that you clarify that so people won't think that you're all about just the fireworks. That's right. That's but right. you have been doing the fireworks for some time now. Do you know exactly how many years? We, we believe that it's uh, 45 years. I, I, I uh -huh. joke with the club members that um, I have been attending the fireworks out there at Jardine Stadium uh, almost my whole life, and I'm 44 years old. <laughs> and uh, so it has been a blessing to be able to have that and for the Exchange Club to be a part of it for 45 years. Mm -hmm. Well, in doing so, I know that, of course, everyone come, you know, the community come together for a 4th of July event, but it would not be what it is without the fireworks. That's right. Um, and everyone look forward and come from surrounding counties, but there's a great cause with that. Share with us your cause and what we, the community, could do to help, you know, offset that cause with the event. Yeah, it, it is, and we've noticed over the last four to five years the cost mm -hmm. to actually do the fireworks display has, has increased. And... Uh, we're up to about $10,000 for a 15 to 20 minute fireworks mm -hmm. display. Uh, but I'll just take this opportunity to, to say thank you to a number of people that we could not, this, this event wouldn't be possible without individuals, businesses, uh, the city of Douglas, the central service offices, and all of the marketing support that you give us in helping to promote this event the Douglas Coffee County Recreation Department and how they actually appropriate part of, uh, of the money yes. uh, to this event to help offset some of the cost. Uh, I have to throw in a plug for our, our late friend Roger Johnson. Yes. We're going to miss him this year. He was always, he was a part of our exchange club for years, but even after that he was so generous like many of you in supporting this event and helping set up popcorn yes. machines yes. and set up tents. And, and, and I'm sure that Mr. Young and, and his staff will continue to support this, and, uh, but we couldn't do it without your help. And uh, I have to, to, to brag on the Exchange Club members. What we really try to do is the, the footwork. We try mm -hmm. to do the, the, the sweaty, uh, hands-on work to make the event go, but so many people uh, contribute financially to this. There's no way to name everybody, but we really appreciate everybody's help. But you know, we appreciate that. When I say we, I'm speaking on behalf of the city of Douglas, <laughs> right. that you all put into sweat equity time because so often it's the other way around. The city That's of Douglas right. planning and coordinating, but we appreciate just making a small contribution and, That's right. and helping you all out because it's a great community event that attracts many to this community. But, you know, if there's a way uh, that people can give uh, to this, uh, because I know you said it's up to like $10,000 now. Mm -hmm. And some of that costs, yeah, the fireworks is involved, but you hire in a professional, is it pyrotechnic? I don't want to mess up the name. Pyrotechnics professional. Okay, yes. The Exchange Club used to actually uh, shoot the fireworks. Oh. And uh, we joke around that we had to quit doing that because. Uh, uh, Mr. Huckabee on, was going to blow somebody up out there <laughs> trying to shoot fireworks, but uh, but no, we anybody that would like to to make a donation to the fireworks uh, celebration, uh, they can contact me or Will Will Thompson or anyone with the Douglas Exchange Club and and help support that. But we also have fundraisers. We have a fundraiser every year that helps to generate some revenue to cover some of this cost and. We send out letters to businesses and individuals mm -hmm. to solicit contributions specifically for this event because it really does touch a lot of people. I uh, made a note <clears throat> uh, about the number of people that it touches is well into the thousands. I mean, 
Uh, we probably have a couple of thousand just in the municipal mm -hmm. complex, mm -hmm. but there are reports of people sitting as far away as West Green, Georgia and Broxton and uh, out towards Ambrose in their backyard or beside their pool or parked in cars along beside the roads in Highway 221, 441, and 206. Mm -hmm. So there's really no way to, to be able to appreciate the number of right. people that this touches. Right, yeah, it goes beyond just out there at the That's municipal right. park. Well, uh, the 4th of July seems to be a very special time for the Douglas Exchange Club. Could you explain why? I will. One of our, uh, what attracted me to the Douglas Exchange Club was its um, God and country. Uh, it really is about uh, faith in God and Americanism or patriotism. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the areas where we have failed miserably, uh, I have failed mm -hmm. as, a, as a leader in my community, as a parent, as a father, um, as a business owner, when it comes to, to trying to share with people uh, appreciating what America really is and the opportunities that we have and the liberties that have been granted to us. So one of the programs is Americanism with the Exchange Club and we have a, a, a program in there that's called Give a Kid a Flag to Wave. Mm -hmm. And Georgia, it's frustrating when you talk to some of the youth in our communities and, and adults for that matter that couldn't tell you what the colors of the American flag represent. How many stars are on the flag? How many stripes are on the flag? Uh, very few could probably tell you that the fourth star and the 13th stripe belongs to the state of Georgia. Mm. So no matter where that flag flies around this globe, around the earth, when that flag's flying, there's a star on there and a stripe for mm -hmm. the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. and, and men and women have paid the ultimate sacrifice yeah. to keep us free and are continuing to do so. Mm -hmm. I have a son, Joshua, that's leaving on July the 6th to go into the Air Force and um, we, we need to, to teach people more about that and in, the education and aspect included of it into important. this Independence yes. Day celebration. That Independence Day is about uh, celebrating your independence from government, not your dependence on government. Okay, okay, make it clear now. That's right. <laughs> That's a great way to put it, excuse me. Um, is there a plan for it if it rains? There is. We, we say this every year. We <laughs> always like to put in a little disclaimer. One of the things that we encourage people to do is hang around. Mm -hmm. uh, typically this time of year you'll get little thunder showers, mm -hmm. maybe even some, some pretty That's severe right. thunder showers. But the pyrotechnics people that come and set up, they cover it with plastic and it's more than uh, good for a, a 30, 45 minutes or an hour of rain. And the first clear window they get, they pull that plastic off and they shoot those fireworks. So don't get discouraged if we do have some rain. Okay. We're praying for good weather yes. and to be able to have a good event. But uh, hang around and I, those people are usually uh, get ready for rain and if, if it gives us a window they'll pull the plastic back and okay. shoot the fireworks. I know we got to go a couple more questions though. Um, I know you normally accept vendors for this event and if you are um, whom should the vendors call, contact, what type vendor are you seeking? Yeah usually pretty much any type of a food vendor. We try to keep it exclusive to the types of foods that you prepare like if you're a snow cone vendor and you call us first and you pay for your spot uh, we take one. Uh, if you do uh, hamburgers and hot dogs, we, we take one of those vendors. Um, we try to keep exclusive to the exchange club the water Cokes, Diet Cokes, Sprite, soft drinks, and popcorn. Gotcha. But any other kind of food vendors, uh, we try to, to make it where when a vendor comes in, he doesn't have three more vendors competing, competing. for the type of food mm -hmm. that he serves. A lot of merchandise vendors, arts, crafts, little trinkets and jewelries gotcha. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a, just a general concession stand. Okay. And um, just in case someone is interested in becoming a member of the Exchange Club or Norm, when, when you meet, how often do you meet? Eat and where? We, uh, we meet every Thursday at lunch at the Douglas Golf and Country Club and it's just a little buffet uh, style lunch and uh, it's, a, it's a neat time of fellowship and just the, the word exchange comes from the whole idea of sitting and fellowshipping and eating and exchanging ideas on how to help make your community better. And that's pretty much what we do. I mean, mm -hmm. we eat lunch on Thursdays together. We handle some of the old business, new business. We go through the uh, treasurer's report and the whole deal. 
but we like to just exchange ideas as to how we can help make Douglas and Coffee County and the surrounding area a better place. So if anybody would like to, to join us, and uh, I know in the past we have been uh, a, a men's only kind of a club, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll tell you, we have, uh, we have men and women in the exchange club, and it has been a blessing. Uh, uh, the women have come in and really showed us how to, to do some things. So we appreciate them, and we would love to have some new members or guests. Right. You come and eat lunch with us and just meet everybody. Well, thank you. Thank you for that invite to the community. And I'm thank you for being here today to share information about the 4th of July Freedom Fest event that will be held on Saturday, July the 4th, at the J.C. Adams Municipal Park. Um, the gates open at 5 p.m. Come out, enjoy some food, and, and just browse around at the different vendors and hold out until dark and wait for the fireworks. And um, for more information, you can go to the City of Douglas website or the Exchange Club. I, th I think you all have a Facebook page. We do. Is that correct? Yes. Or you can um, call 384-1616 for more information. Um, Representative, thank you for being thank here you. today. Thank you again for having me. All right. We'll be back with more Douglas on my mind right after this break. Programming is sponsored by American Truck Parts Incorporated, a proud sponsor of WDTV 13 programming. Vickers Audio and Glass Tinting, supporting our local programming on WDTV 13. Storage Solutions, etc., locally owned and operated and located at 1010 Bowens Mill Road, southeast in Douglas. Roscoe Allen Jr. and Gubas Modular Buildings in Osceola, Georgia. We proudly support local programming on WDTV 13. Harper and Company Builders, serving Douglas and Coffee County for 29 years. And a proud sponsor of community programming. Aiden's Minute Market. When you're out, we're in. Dewey Hayes Jr., attorney at law, selected to the top 100 trial lawyers in the state of Georgia. Fletcher Oil Company, since 1966, has been supporting local activities and a proud sponsor of community programming on WDTV 13. Fletcher Oil Company is a member of the Women's Business Enterprise National Council. McCrary Daniels Insurance Agency. If you want your pizza fixed just right, chances are you'll go to Danny's. If you're celebrating a birthday, Holtz is probably fixing the cake you'll put the candles on. And if your wedding ring needs an adjustment, you'll find yourself at Crawford Jewelers. But if it's you who needs fixing, it should definitely happen here. Coffee Regional Medical Center in Douglas, Georgia. We fix things better here. We're back from break and joined on the show now is George Blampede, who is the chairman, finance chairman with the Douglas Kiwanis Club. And welcome to the show today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Joanne. Where Glad, are you? Georgia. 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 Yeah, Georgia. I get it right. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Yeah. And um, I know you all keep many things going in the community. But before we get into the actual event that you're here to talk to us about, give us a little background about the Kiwanis and Kiwanians and what, what you're all about. Okay. Douglas Kiwanis Club is about cho uh, serving children. Our motto is uh, one child at a time, one day at a time, serving the children of the world. And our main purpose is to help different programs in the community. And we have several of them, like uh, the Boys and Girls Club we work with, uh, the Hope Center. We work with the Mary Hayes Center. We help with the Building Upgrades Program and the school system. Uh, we uh, do a lot of th things with the 4-H. Uh, we help with them scholarship for the summer camp. We have a scholarship that we give at South Georgia College for graduates. Uh, 
We have what we call a Carol Birch Award, Citizenship Award, that we give in honor of Dr. Hollis Birch. We have a Christian Leadership Award that we give. So basically, we do a lot for what we can do to make